Hi everyone, it's Phil from Tech for Text. Today we're going to be looking at this from AeroCool. It's the Mirage 12 Pro. It's got three addressable RGB fans, a controller, as well as a remote control, so you can adjust the lighting effects on the fly. It's got a recommended retail price of just $35.99 and we do have links in the description below if you're interested in purchasing them. The links will take you to the cheapest price available online in your country. Okay, so we've got the AeroCool Mirage 12 Pro. This is part of their new Mirage range, um, which, as you can see, consists of three fans, a controller, as well as a remote control as well. It does stay on there. You require, or it requires an ARGB motherboard or hubs for it to work, because obviously if you don't, uh, then, well, it's not going to work. Simple as that. Again, it says it's RGB addressable. Uh, if you don't know what RGB connection is, uh, it will be on your motherboard. It's classed as four pins, but it looks more like three pins uh, because it's two pins, missing one, and then one more pin. Uh, and that will have to plug into there. If you look at the side, it tells you a lot of information in different languages. On the back, it shows you roughly how it works. So, as you can see here, it's showing you all the different connections where it plugs into the motherboard. You've got the fans connected into the controller, as well as a SATA power lead. You've also got more RGB connections on the side, and it looks like even more on this side as well. So, the model says included is the Mirage 12 ARGB Pro. Uh, and obviously it's got the remote and the control and the three fans. The fans are 120 millimeters by 120 by 25, so there'll be no issues fitting those on a radiator. Uh, hint, hint, Arctic. Uh, fan con um, speed is 1,300 RPM. Connector type is six pin. The fan is six volt and so forth. Uh, so you should, should be pretty straightforward there. Uh, the remote is an RF wireless, the hub is SATA powered, it's got six fan ports on there as well, and you've got a Velcro strap, you've got 12 screws, obviously for the fans, and some black zip ties time too. And on this side it's got more information in different languages, so that's pretty much it. And then you've got their sort of a motto which is save money, cool better. So we'll have a look and open that up and see exactly what's inside the pack. Okay, so this is what's inside the box. So the first thing I've noticed, what isn't inside the box, is a manual. So it looks like the back of the box is about the only manual you get, unless there's one available on their website, um, which is a little bit different, but okay. Usually they have a QR code or something inside the box. I'm just gonna open it up again, just to make sure. No, nothing in there, uh, just in case I, I forgot something or missed something and so forth. So here we go, so you've got the three fans, so you've got three lots of screws there, so there's four screws each. You've got four cable ties, I think it said on the box that there's only two, but hey, if they come with four I'm not going to complain. You've got some Velcro. So you stick that on the back of your controller and then stick that in your case and you can stick it on there if you wish. Uh, or you could hide that in there and you could potentially stick this on the side of your case. And that is the uh, remote which allows you to change everything from uh, obviously fan speed, colour, mode and so forth. You've got everything on there uh, to change all the effects and so on. You've got three fans as we said. Let's have a closer look at those. So you've got the fan there, uh, you can see the blades, the centre is quite a big centre on it, but that's where you're going to get the RGB effect. So if I peel that bit off of there, you can see the sort of effect going on, possibly on the camera. Obviously it's not plugged in so it's not lit up, but I can see the rings where the lights would be. In reality there's only one ring of lights, but the way they do it, there's basically a mirror in there which allows it to look like the image, or at least the lights, are going on forever. 
so that's pretty cool. So otherwise the fan itself is 25 millimeters thick, which is good, which means all your standard um, uh, radiator screws and stuff like that should fit this no problem. So that's good. It's rubberized on all four corners on each side, so that's good as well. So that's going to be less vibrations and so forth when you have got it screwed in. And again, you can screw it in with the case um, screws, but obviously if you're screwing it into a radiator, you will need to supply your own screws, which generally come with the radiator, or at least up to a certain size, but those should fit these without an issue. So that's pretty much it. It's not a, nothing special to see other than that. Is the main selling point of this is that effect on the center. Again, on the back, it tells you your standard things like your 12 volt and it's 35 or 0 0.35 amps. The cable, though, as you can see here, that plugs into the controller, but that is won't plug directly into any motherboard or anything like that. It has to go through the controller because this is a special cable which transfers not only the RGB effects but also the fan controllers and what makes it spin. Uh, so that would then plug into your controller. The controller does have room for six fans on there so you could go out and buy another three fans and plug them into here or devices but they have to use the same type of connection which is slightly di uh, different than normal and it's one of those things I'm not a fan of different ones because you get compatibility issues and so forth but altogether there is it looks like six pins on there then obviously that will then plug into your motherboard and your power supply, so that will plug into your fan header on your motherboard. That will plug into your RGB header on your motherboard or the controller. And you've also got a different connector there as well, uh, what we class a standard 3-pin ARGB header, depending on the type of motherboard controller you've got. Uh, and then you've got SATA connection, which plugs directly in your power supply. So you basically plug all three of these in together. One, two, three. Hook those cables up to your motherboard and that one to your power supply and then play about with the controller and change all the lights. That's the basics of it. Uh, so we're going to connect these up and have a look to see what they look like. Okay, so I have the fans plugged into the controller, which is then plugged into the PC using a SATA cable. I have not connected the RGB cable or the fan cable, because I'm going to just demonstrate how you change the light and effects using their controller, which is obviously here. You do not need a motherboard which has got ARGB for them to work, so ignore anything what may say on the box, you need an RGB motherboard. That's only if you want the motherboard to control the lights and to sync up with the motherboard. But otherwise, you can just plug these in using a SATA cable, and that is it, and it'll go. Even the, for the fan speeds, you can alter those through the controller. They don't even need to plug into the motherboard. So that's a bonus. So you can do everything you want just with the SATA lead plugged into these three fans via the controller. So let's turn the PC on and the fans start up straight away. You can turn the lights on using the controller by just pressing the power button. And as you can see, they come on and the colors are quite vivid. It's gonna be very hard to show you the, exactly how good they look on a camera um, because obviously you're limited by the frames per second of the video, but they look very good. You do have options on there of changing the speed of the fans. When you do change the speed, they do get a little bit louder, but to be honest, they're not that loud even on the highest setting. And you see the actual fans flash every time you change the speed. You've got different modes on there, so you can choose what lighting modes you want. I think you've got everything on everything you want on there. But if you have a look at how it works, the lighting on it, it looks like there's actually three different lights, maybe even four actually. You've got the outside ring, then you've got an inside ring, and then you've got the ring on the center of the actual fan, and then one within the center of the fan, which gives you that mirage effect. And then actually on top of the fans as well, I'll probably knock them all over now, 
you can also see the effect going through the top. So you've got effects, no matter how you look at it, uh, it looks pretty good. On the back, you don't see anything on the backside other than the colour of the fins. So, but otherwise, they look very neat. And I must admit, it's they're quite vivid. It's probably some of the better RGB I've seen around. There are a lot of RGB products which are meh. Uh, and these, well, depending on how you want it, you've got lots of different options. And you can change the brightnesses and colours and so forth. So you want a static colour like red, you can choose to change it between quite a few different options on there. You'll probably get a few more different options on your motherboard, depending on uh, your motherboard you've got. You can also change the speed of the effects. So you can get it going slowly. Or a lot faster. You've got an auto button, which basically just puts it on whatever it wants. So I think it just changes all the time. You've got rainbow effect which you've seen already, and Astro seems to be a popular one, which is sort of a bit like the rainbow, but it sort of goes at slight increments rather than being smooth. And then you can lock it in, and you can change how bright or how dull you actually want these. So they're very, 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 very bright. And again, you can change all these modes. I must admit, these are pretty good. And again, for the price, for three fans, a controller, hey, that's pretty good, and a remote. Uh, and you've got options of adding three more fans on there if you wish. You probably might as well just go out and buy two three packs, in all honesty. Um, uh, and you've got six fans. I'm very impressed, and that effect in the centre does look pretty good. It seems to be going on. I'm not sure if the camera catches it very well, but I'll try and get it on the B-roll. Uh, but yeah, it looks very, very, very good. Very happy with this. So in conclusion, well, what do I say? For £35.99p, you can go out and buy three fans, yes, three fans, a controller and a remote. All that for £35.99. To me, that is a bargain because I, I know there are fans out there which retail for £30 just for the fan. Not including the controller, not including a remote, just £30 for the fan. And in all honesty, some of them... Um, are generally not that good, even at £30. Well, this, to be honest, this is some of the better RGB effects I've seen, or even the best I've seen, especially for the price range. And you don't even need to have a motherboard which has got an RGB header on it. You can just use the controller, what comes with this, as long as you get the kit, which comes with the free fans, the controller, and the remote. Uh, and you just need a SATA power lead in it, and then you can just control everything from the buttons. You don't have to mess about with any RGB software or whatever you can adjust the fan speeds and so forth and so on don't get me wrong the fans are probably not what you would class the best fans in the world for cooling but don't get me wrong uh, in most cases people don't need the fans to go at 10,000 mile per hour and shift I don't know a lorry load of air through it in a few seconds these are more than adequate than dealing with pretty much 99% of people's needs so gone of the days where you need to spend hundreds of pounds for decent RGB lighting in your computer case. You don't need to do that now. You can have a bottom end motherboard, got no RGB headers or connections on it at all. And you can basically just go out and buy these fans for just over £35, stick them in your case, and it looks amazing. And again, you don't have to spend all this money that you used to spend. I'm going to say the full set for £35 is cheaper than some of the RGB fans out there, which is just a fan on its own. So overall, amazing product, amazing price. So what award should I give it? Oh, let's do it. I'm going to give this the Hell Yeah Award.